and I'm beeping going on. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> Maybe we'll see? Okay. We're not going to eat for a long time after this. I know, but we did it yesterday. Mm. So this has eggs. Mm, you like that? It has eggs, salmon, and avocado. Grandma got us both this. I'm drinking a berry matcha latte from Remy's Flower and Coffee Shop, which I just showed you guys inside. And Grandma got a decaf mocha latte. Yeah, that's what you told me to get you, right? Decafinado, oh yeah, with oat milk. They both have oat milk. So, yeah. Just eating, we're eating out here. <laughs> We're in Grand Central, right? Mm-hmm. Grand yes, Central sir. Terminal. <laughs> customers. A reminder. She's also videoing on her phone, on her camera. I've turned my grandma into a vlogger. <laughs> she said seriously. Look at her go. <laughs> right now we're walking to Uniqlo because the slippers I bought yesterday are too big. They swallowed my feet, and you and I both know that I have massive feet, right? Yeah, but you don't have that massive feet. No, an extra large is too large. So, yeah, this is uh, day two of us being in New York. No, day three. Well, day, day two for day me, two. day three for you. Yeah. Because I got in real late on day one. <laughs> um, so you had like a full day of day one. Yeah. But yeah, we're currently on 46th Street and Lexington Avenue, and we're gonna walk all the way down to 52nd Street. After we finish up at Uniqlo, we're gonna try to go to the Empire State Building. We're only gonna go to the 86th floor because going to the very top is like $70 per person. <laughs> and she also doesn't wanna go to the very top. So we're just gonna go up to the 86th floor because it costs about $40 per person. And all the times that we've been to New York because our family's from here, I grew up coming to New York every summer. We've never been to the Empire State Building. So we thought, why not? But we're not gonna walk from Uniqlo to the Empire State Building. We're gonna take a cab. Just because it's it's like probably another 20 minutes from Uniqlo to the Empire State Building. Yeah, we'll see. So we might take a cab, yeah. but we'll see. But yeah, I think we'll probably take a cab just because yesterday we were exhausted. Like I did 21,000 steps, she did like 15, 16,000 steps yesterday. We That's walked a lot and we we're just very sore we at the end of the night we were both rubbing icy hot on each other <laughs> it was a that is how hot we were i mean not hot but sore we were and we woke up doing stretches but yeah I had to, man, I didn't think my back was gonna make yeah it. no we didn't my tailbone but the berry matcha that i had from flower from remy's flower and coffee it shop good. it was so good 
Um, and then grandma had, yeah, I was, I was downing it. And then grandma had the decaf mocha. And it was good too. She really liked it. Where did you get the bagels from? From the, I don't know the name of the place. Well, it's, it's like, it's, yeah, those bagels were huge, very filling, but it was right next to that coffee shop. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're going to head there now and I'm just going to return my slippers because honestly I don't need them. And then we're just going to head to, to the Empire State Building, which we've never been inside of. I don't know why, but. We're going in for the first time. We're excited. We just left the Guggenheim Museum and now we're just walking in Central Park. This one is doing really good. 72 years old and you're walking so well, right? Yeah. She's kind of ignoring me. <laughs> but now we're at a flat bit, look. That's a dog move? No, oh. they both have leashes. <laughs> They're just really cute, yeah. Take a break. But it's really pretty.
to get a no. bus and get, I mean a taxi and get home. Come on, girl. <laughs> so upset. So we just came out of bar Italia, <laughs> and, and it was uh, the best Italian food that we've ever had. Truly, we we left with a bottle of um, sparkling water, but each bottle cost like eleven dollars, so we paid like a total of twenty-two dollars. <laughs> so I'm glad that they let us like take the rest of the second bottle. Exactly. But the food was just exceptional, exactly. and it was just perfect. I had this sparpadelli. Um, it was just like pasta with mushroom, and I added goat cheese to it. She had salmon. And spinach. spinach, and, and then a side, of, a half uh, side of pesto um, uh, spaghetti, spaghetti. Oh, and everything was, was like homemade, and fresh. The coffee, and just then we got decaf coffee. coffee, and like she just put two sugars in it because they didn't have alternate milk. But the coffee, the decaf coffee, was like and the I best coffee that she's it. ever had. Like yeah. she took a sip and she was just like, "This is amazing." And yeah. I took a sip and I kept taking sips. She got upset with me. <laughs> But guys, if you ever come to New York and you want good Italian food that's authentic, go to Bar Italia because it was and it's on, perfect. Uh, it's off 66 and Madison, Madison Avenue. Avenue. It's East 66th Street and Madison Avenue. Um, right across from Giorgio Armani, but it's so good. Like the Excellent. best i'm so glad all the, the food services that we, is good the too. service was great the people were great we met the owner he was really nice um yeah all the food that we've had in new york has been really great mm -hmm. huh mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right and they also have like outdoor dining here we dined inside before their dinner rush because we finished around like 5 30. so now we're just gonna go back to the hotel right mm -hmm. because her bag ready is busting i'm ready she's I'm ready she's annoyed with me <laughs> got back to the hotel and I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Uniqlo my grandma's talking to her sister in the bathroom so if you hear her I'm not gonna tell my grandma to be quiet she's staying in this hotel too so she wants to talk she can talk girl but y'all are currently balancing on the lamp so hey but I went to Uniqlo to return those slippers because honestly I don't need them and I bought this trench from the Uniqlo U line. And it goes down, not quite to my ankle, but you can kind of see. I'm like standing really far back, but really good quality, but I got it from the Uniqlo U line. And I got a size large. And it fits like beautifully. And I'm just gonna say, in case you don't know how tall I am, I'm 5'7", but I have a 5'10 wingspan, if that like, matters so like my arms are really long <laughs> and the quality of this feels like really good to me it's like not a heavy trench coat but it's also not a super light one it's kind of just medium and it was chilly walking back to the hotel we didn't walk too far we like took a couple taxis but it kept me really warm even though it was like real chilly in new york and i just love the style of it like it's perfect i've always wanted a trench coat it has the little wrap around and like you can button it here and then it can go all the way down it just looks really like nice and sophisticated so this is my trench that i got from uniqlo and then i got this shirt it's kind of like a crop top but i wear a lot of like high-waisted stuff so I got this to kind of just wear inside and it like has like a mock neck detail. I got this sweater and it's like really really soft and it's like this brownish gray color. Like it has like gray underneath like tones underneath but so it's like a cool brown. And yeah that's all I got but you know. I feel like Uniqlo is now going to be like my store because honestly, it's a style that I want with just great basics, nice, minimal type vibe. My style's not like super loud, if I'm honest. Like I just like basics and knowing that 
things can go with other things as easy as easily as possible just because getting dressed in the morning like I work from home like I'm remote right now I don't need to dress like super nice but having like classic things like this trench coat I'm gonna have it forever hopefully I'm gonna have it forever so you might want to try this on first but I would say it fits kind of oversized because typically I'm an XL um, especially in jackets with like the length of my arms and just like wanting room to like layer underneath stuff I like to be able to like really wrap myself and the fact that I'm able to do this in a large I'm just like it's oversized <laughs> but yeah that's all I got from Uniqlo oh yeah and this is my fit this is my fit of the day I just have like it's basically all H&M, honestly. Um, their sustainable line, minus the sweatpants. But this top I got from H&M, these wide leg sweatpants, which are honestly a little bit too big, so I'm gonna size down in these. Um, I'm gonna get them in the cream color, but dark brown. I also wore my New Balance 550s. I'll show you guys what those look like. These are the shoes that I wear. They're honestly like one of the most comfortable shoes that I own. I should have brought my hokas. I was just like, I definitely was like, I want to look fashionable while I'm in New York. I brought my Converse and I can really only go about like 5,000 steps in those before my feet start like killing me. I love my Converse, great platforms, I'll show you them. So these are the Converse that I own, but it's because I probably put like these foot inserts in them. So they like my feet pushed up against like the top and that's what hurt me. Wearing those, I probably should have just brought my Hoka's and just travel with those. Cause my Hoka's are honestly, like those are the most comfortable shoes. But I will say that these like New Balance 550s, honestly, they're one of the most comfortable shoes that I own. I really want to get them in like the green, yellow colorway because but those are like super popular and they're like way overpriced now so i'm just like nah but yeah these are really really comfortable i can walk in these all day my feet still do kind of hurt a little bit but they're still one of the most comfortable shoes whereas my hokas those are like those are really really comfortable but i did not bring them and those are like my walking shoes so should have brought my hokas but it is what it is but anyways, we are back at the hotel and that's all we're doing today. That's all we've done today. We're gonna try to go to the Botanic Gardens tomorrow and then visit some family. So I'll show you guys us going to the Botanic Garden, but tomorrow's vlog is probably gonna be really short. So I may or may not add it on to another day um, just because we will be with family tomorrow and i'm not gonna vlog them i'm not gonna force them to come on camera with us yeah that is the end of this vlog if you enjoyed any part of this thank you so much for watching till the end but if you've enjoyed any part of this please do give this video a thumbs up subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all the things that i am doing and comment down below say hi i say hi back and don't forget to stay kind stay true and stay laughing and i'll see you in the next one Bye. Loud monsters out of the bathroom. Oh, hush, girl. You're just so loud. Oh. <laughs> I'm talking to you. Got those high waisted panties on. <laughs> <laughs> they fit now. They fit. Let me turn on the light. I need to put some. To the lint store and we bought dark chocolate has hazelnuts pistachio no it just has pistachio and orange i believe um, but it's dark chocolate and they gave us two little chocolates to go and i'm going to have a little of this before going to bed